everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an Asus VivoBook 15 laptop and the exact model for this one is an X512J that information can be found on the bottom cover of the laptop and in this video I'm gonna go over how you can upgrade the hard drive and increase the hard drive limit on this laptop and what are the configuration that you can have and what are the best configuration that you should have all right yeah first thing first i'm gonna get really quickly on this one first you want to power up the laptop you want to back up your files and important data to an external hard drive because remember once we upgrade the hard drive in here there will be no operating system inside of the new hard drive i made a video how to create your windows 10 or windows 11 usb boot drive you can follow that link in my video description and i made a video how to install windows 10 on an asus laptop I'll try to get those links and I'll put it on my video description so you guys can take a look at it. Alright, there are two types of hard drives you can put in here is an M.2 NVMe hard drive and SATA 2.5 inch hard drives. You can either go with an uh, SSD 2.5 inch up to 4 terabyte or you can grab a mechanical hard drive uh, 2.5 inch up to 2 terabyte because 4 terabyte will be really thick and it will not go through. So you can have either a bigger mechanical drive, 2TB, you can change it to a solid state drive, 2.5 inch up to 4TB, and then M.2 drive, you can go with a Samsung brand which are really durable and I really recommend these ones. Because they do ship out with 256 gig in a solid state drive M.2 and 1TB mechanical drive. So let's get open it, let's open it up and let's see what's underneath and why you should upgrade the solid state drive. The tools that you're gonna need, it's an opening tool and a screwdriver set. I recommend you guys to grab the iFixit screwdriver set as they have one of the best bits out there. These are S2 class steel, that means they will last you many years. You're gonna grab a Philips number one from this tool set. If you get the pro version, they will include you with an opening tool, tweezers, and a few other tools. If you don't wanna get the pro set, get the basic set, and for opening tools, I'll be using a guitar pick, and metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. All right, with the laptop powered off, now what you wanna do, you wanna remove all the screws at the bottom cover. There are three types of screws in here, the short ones, the medium ones, and a long screw. The short screws are the one in the front end of the laptop, there are four of them, and the single long screw is on the top left side of, if you're facing the front is to yourself, Top left side is the only long screw by one millimeter. So you always want to remove that single long screw so you don't mismatch it, keep it in one file. And the side to side, the mid and mid back and top right, these are the medium screws. So keep these screws in one pile, don't mismatch them. And go ahead and remove all of them. Also, if you guys like my videos, if my videos are helping you guys out through your own uh, servicing upgrades, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe, I'll greatly appreciate it. And it will be a great motivation for me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. i appreciate that. Alright, once we remove all the screws, now there we have it, the long screw, the medium, and the short ones. Now, what we want to do, we want to grab the opening tool, and we're going to stick it between the top corner, right here, between the bottom cover and the... The palm rest right there about one or two millimeters and you just want to twist it and you want to hit that click you want to do the same thing every one or two centimeters work yourself through you want to do that all the way to the front corner there yeah. now you want to do the front side and do the right side. You don't need to do the back end, as long as you do the front and side to side, you're fine. You wanna grab from the front end, from the corners, and there's a tiny clip in the middle, so once you wiggle it around, it will release itself. Lift it up and just move it around like this, and lift it up and it will release the back end. That's the bottom cover right there. And down here you can see the hard drive, the mechanical one, mechanical is right here, and the solid state 
is right here. This is a Western Digital. This is really cheap quality Western Digital. That's why they give you this one, less color for testing purposes, maybe, because they don't have a DRAM cache or anything like that. It's just a simple SSD drive. It is fast, but it's really basic, and the lifespan of this one is really short. And we're going to upgrade this one, and this one I'm going to show you how to upgrade this too. Now, before we continue, people always say, you should remove the battery, you have to remove the battery. You don't need to remove the battery to do any hard drive upgrade or RAM upgrade or anything like that. You're totally fine, you don't have to, and you don't need to. But if you want to be paranoid and you want to remove the battery, you have to remove this bracket, metal bracket from here by removing this screw right over here and this screw right over here and the black screw right over here once you remove those pick up the bracket put it to one side and you're gonna see a battery cable right here to disconnect the battery all you need to do is to grab yourself a some sort of plastic pick and you want to push this plastic metal cover back about one or two millimeters until it goes away from the white cover right there then all you need to do is gonna, and they put the flex cable under this uh, trackpad cable so i gotta lift up this one lift up 90 degrees and pull out this flex cable so i can access the cables for the battery right there i'm missing one more black cable Once you have it like that, now you want to lift it up towards the ceiling from the back side here. Just pull it up. It comes up. And to put it now, once we remove it, let's put this flex cable underneath. I don't like the other cable going under. Open up the lock. Just slide the flex cable straight under that. Lock it down. So that's how you remove the battery or disconnect the battery. To put it back together. You have to align the clips right on top. Make sure it's aligned. Don't go disaligning this one. Align and push it towards the jack from the top to bottom to the motherboard. And then you can just bring the lock right over and leave these cables right there. To put this shield on, just like this. Bring it on. And put the screws for that. Number one screw goes right over here. And the black screw goes towards the motherboard. And the other chrome screw goes right beside it. And I'm not going to disconnect this to do this upgrade. So if you want to, just follow that. To remove the M.2 drive, you have to only remove one screw right over here at the back end. Once you remove that screw, the M.2 will come out in 45 degree angle. Once you have it in 45 degree angle, all you need to do is pull it out straight in a 45 degree angle don't pull it upward otherwise you're going to break the dam or the ssd drive so you see there's nothing at the back there's no other component here and there's simple chip here no dram cache or anything like that and if you compare it to a good quality ssd or any other quality ssds you're going to see the difference look at this one has a memory chip on the back and memory chip on the front and the dram cache right here these are, that's the reason they are expensive a little bit and they will last you longer period of the time. This has to be M.2 SSDs. So to put it in the M.2, make sure the notch matches the notch under them. You want to bring it down in 15, 10 degrees, push it towards the jack and then bring it down towards the screw hole. And the last thing is to just grab the screw and put it right on top. And you want to put your operating system on this M.2 not on the other one because this one is much faster than a SATA connector which will be right here so for this for demonstration purposes i'm not actually upgrading so put it in 15 degrees bring it down and put the screw so that's the upgrade for m.2 to remove this one here you have to lift up this lock 90 degrees upward just flip it over and pull the jack out now what you want to do you want to lift up this one there's no screw just lift up there's a rubber cover bring up the hard drive this is one terabyte western digital hard drive to replace this one you have to remove this foil tape right here bring it over fold it 
Now we need this adapter. This adapter you have to don't yank on the cables, grab it from the side, and just remove the adapter from the here. This is a SATA adapter to a flex cable flat one. Once you have the hard drive in here, you want to remove the hard drive, you have to pull this rubber condom, I'll call it, to one side. Pull it to the other side. These are low profile hard drives. And you do not need this foil type, you do not need it. And then you can grab the new hard drive if you want and make sure the screw holes goes right inside those rubber cover right there. Bring it over and put it right there. And then grab this adapter, put it right on top and you're set to go. You do not need to put the foil tape on top. It's not doing anything. It is no thermal paste or anything underneath. So it's absolutely not necessary. So that's how you do it. So I'm gonna quickly put it back, remove and put it back. So removing, remove, make sure the SATA connection, the position is in the correct. You don't wanna put it the other way around, otherwise it will not go through. Put the hard drive in there. Okay, grab the adapter. The adapter goes in only one way. And bring it down. Push it right in the cat in the palm rest. Make sure it sits down nicely all the way in. Now this is very important. This flex cable has a little ear lobes on the side. So you can't go straight in. You have to go in 45 degrees inside the jack. So Open up the jack, push it in 45 degree angle. You can see I have the camera right in front of me. So I'm going to bring it down in 45 degree. Open up the lock and push it in. Make sure the it loops goes inside the jack and then close it down. All right. Once you have those two in there, now you can grab the bottom cover, bring it over. And now you want to push the sides down, the front end, make sure you hit those clicks in the back end. There's two clips in the middle, push on those. And you want to pinch, if you see an opening, you just want to pinch it. Let's say in the front end of the laptop, there's an opening right here. You're just going to pinch these two, and the cover is just going to lock down. And here there's an opening. There we have it. Once you have this one locked down, now what we're going to do first, we want to put the longest screws on the back and then the short, let's put one of the other ones in the other corner. These are for the hinges, these are important, these two corners. And then the medium screws and the short screws in the front. I'm going to power this on so you guys can see that it works. So let's see, power on. And if you remove the battery, it will take 5 to 10 seconds to... Uh, for the bias to reset itself. So wait a few seconds and it should power on. It took up to probably, I didn't fast forward this part so you guys can measure how long it took. The refresh rate for these LCD panels are not great. These are really probably 50 hertz or something. That's why it is flickering on the camera, but I actually don't see this flickering. This is because of the refresh rate. That is, the camera is 60 FPS, is catching up with the frame rate. So. And there you have it, and this is how you upgrade your hard drive for your ASUS VivoBook 15. If you have any question or request, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.